let's put these overbearing masculine traits into the bin and if you stick with me until the end we can say hello to eight new tips to instantly activate your divine feminine energy releasing control means let them or let life happen this theory was first introduced by mel robbins and says that always trying to control the outcome and the actions of others is only going to stress you out and keep you in your masculine energy according to psychology focusing on your own reaction and choices will bring you a greater sense of inner peace so when you wake up tomorrow please tell yourself i'm going to to let go of the need to be in charge of every situation and the actions of others and allow myself to live in the present moment. In this way, you're the main character and other people are like extras. Things that they do or say don't need to have a direct impact on you. And now that you've released this control, you have more time and energy to focus on the things that you really want to do. When we rush or talk quickly, this adds unnecessary stress into our lives and sometimes leads to accidents. Whereas speaking slowly and moving softly will help you activate your feminine energy and live a soft life. This is all about being mindful and being gentle to yourself and others. According to research, speaking slowly not only makes you sound more intelligent, a lower tone also makes you sound more attractive. Too slow and the listener might lose interest, but the balance is allowing yourself to articulate your thoughts and ensuring that the other person understands your message. Moving slower may also seem counterintuitive, but you can be inspired by the basic story of the tortoise and the hare. While the hare valued speed, the tortoise valued the process. You will still reach your goal going at your natural pace and experience the beautiful details of life. Unlocking your feminine energy means getting comfortable receiving, not taking from the producing masculine. Today's society has shone a bad light on receiving, so we've been pushed to become over-independent women who have a hard time asking for help. So in order to activate the feminine, we have to practice being receptive. This means being open to love, support, and abundance from others, and getting into the habit of saying, thanks, I appreciate it, instead of, it's fine, I can do it myself. So your task for this tip is to ask for help when you need it, even if it's something small. In this way, there is a balance in the receiving and the producing, and you'll be able to unlock your feminine energy with ease. Have you ever wondered why when you type in feminine energy aesthetic on Pinterest, there are always girls out in nature or holding a bouquet of flowers? And why Disney princesses are always presented beside nature? Both nature and the divine feminine energy are delicate processes that with care will blossom to create harmony and balance with their counterparts. Observing the beauty of nature, such as a walk in the park, can actually help you get comfortable receiving and being receptive. This is why Mother Nature is referred to as a she. She must receive sunlight and rain in order to grow and subsequently we must receive clean air in order to breathe. Being in nature can inspire you to create a deeper connection with yourself and the wider world and further tap into your feminine energy. Take pride in your appearance. This doesn't just mean having flowers in your hair and wearing flowy dresses. Unlocking your feminine energy means prioritizing your self-care and surroundings. Dedicate your free time to your own rituals that nourish your mind, body and spirit. This includes investing in your hair, nails, body and skincare routines and wearing quality and timeless pieces that complement you and allow you to move freely. Keeping your home or room tidy and filled with beautiful things such as plants, art or candles will help you unlock your feminine energy according to the museum effect. This says that a tidy space can help reduce feelings of stress and heighten feelings of happiness when there are aesthetically pleasing objects around. This harmony between your physical appearance and the appearance of your space will instantly unlock your feminine energy. Unlocking your feminine energy means standing strong in our values, which are principles that guide our actions, beliefs, which are thoughts that we hold as true, and boundaries, which are physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual limits that we set for ourselves. Upholding these is crucial as we must be true to ourselves, as we must set clear limits on what serve us best through assertion rather than aggression. In this way, we can still approach others with love, kindness, and playfulness while still getting your message across. One of the most underestimated and powerful feminine gifts is intuition. Growing up you may have been oblivious to this but i'm here to tell you that while we use external support systems like crystals and tarot readings it's not your only source of three-dimensional divine guidance trust your gut feeling even when it doesn't make sense traditional feminine qualities can be very limiting because they prioritize social expectations of appearance over substance while there is nothing inherently wrong with these it's not the only way to unlock femininity because energy tells all this is why most of these tips are focused inwardly and expressing these in a way that is unique to you will enable you to unlock your divine feminine energy and always stay true to yourself thank you so much for watching if these tips were helpful please give this video a huge thumbs up now that you're unable to unlock your divine feminine energy